the message is about an old man on the verge of death, a postman on the verge of a breakdown, and the boy sort of a, as an intermediary be between the two. So it's about these three generations, but the lack of communication and the lack of understanding between them, even though each embodies the other in some way. So take us through your favourite scene in the film. I suppose that uh, my favourite scene would be when the postman has realised that the letter is addressed to the old man and uh, he goes, he returns to the gate only to find the boy there. And it's just the finding of the boy at the gateway, that threshold between all these things, between life and death, between what we're aware of and what we're not aware of. And uh, the boy's there and um, holds up his hands to receive the message. Yeah, the little boy you've used, he's really good. How did you come to, the act, to your actors? Uh, well, the little boy's my little boy. <laughs> <laughs> or our little boy and uh, so so he was quite easy to come by you know we just found him in the bedroom that morning um, Joe who, who plays the old man he, he's not as old as he appears on the film and he's an actor has done a lot of stage we, we found him through a, a recommendation and we're very pleased that we, we did find him will they know who I was when I'm gone and these boots are empty in the loft left unkemptly was it a large crew? Um, it felt large at the time, you know, because you feel when a crew arrives, you feel as though you, you, you've got to deliver and you feel very, very responsible for everyone. Um, so that the pressure is suddenly on you, whereas previously we, we were able to take a time and improvise and be spontaneous. Uh, when you've got a crew coming out to you, you know, you, you've got um, a timesheet to deliver and work too. So uh, it, was, it was a very different process and it was a very steep learning curve. I've always felt there's a lot of parallels between Andy's work and, and my work in that I'm, I'm forever on the, on the lookout for a good picture. You know, I, I'm a bit like a camera uh, gathering images. I'm always on the lookout for a, an image which might stand as a, as a metaphor for, for something or other. Um, and I guess Andy's work in film is pretty close to that. You know, although one medium is word-based and the other is, strictly speaking, image-based, I think there's a lot of uh, parallels and crossover. Were there not any um, scenes that where you found that your ideas and Andy's ideas particularly conflicted at all? Well, one of the problems is, because film is such a concentrated medium, and because poetry is such a concentrated medium, sometimes when you put the two things together, you, you end up creating too much noise, if you like, um, or, or, or the medium becomes saturated. Your attempt at making something clear uh, actually uh, confuses the issue by overloading with information. The difficult thing to achieve is space, you know, and, and that's what we're, we're, we were attempting to achieve is a sense of space where the, the words aren't cluttering the images and the images aren't cluttering the words. Sometimes words will not connect or shape my breath with sound. Yet quiet hears the singing stream connect us underground.